Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write your first Python script in the form of .py file and execute it. But not just by idle, but I'm going to show you various different ways you can execute this Python file which you will create. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can create your Python file using idle. So first of all, open your idle IDE and just go to file here and you will be able to see this option here which says new file and then you will be able to see this kind of window opens which is a Python file editor. Now first of all, we are going to save this file. So let's save this file. You can save this file at any directory or any path wherever you want. So for this first file, I'm going to name it as hello.py. So .py is the Python extension and hello is the name of our file. So I'm going to save this file first of all and you can see it's saved at my desired location. So in this file, let's write some Python code. So let's say I want to create a program in which I will ask the user to input three numbers and as the output, I want the maximum out of these three numbers, which is inputted by the user. So how can I do this? So as we have already seen, you can define a variable in Python like this. So I'm going to define a variable x is equal to, and we also know that there is a inbuilt function in Python called input to take the user input. And then in the double quotes, so we are going to ask the user that he needs to enter the first number. So enter first number. And in a similar way, I am going to ask the user to enter the second number and the third number. Let me change the variable name here. So instead of X, this variable will be Y and the last variable will be Z. And this is the third number and this is the second number. But when I write the input like this, this may give us some problem. The problem is input function gives us a string and we need to convert the string into a integer or a float. So let's convert this number into a float value. So you can use another inbuilt function which is float and then this string will be converted to float. So I'm going to do the same for other two numbers. Now in order to get the maximum numbers out of these three numbers, we have seen there is an inbuilt function in Python which is called max and we are going to use this max function. But first of all, we need to print something. So we will uh, just write the max value is and then we can calculate the maximum value and print it from here. So we can use this comma and then we can use this inbuilt function which is max and then we will uh, just pass these three values which is x, y and z. So will this program work? Let's see. So first of all, before doing anything, you need to once again save this file, okay? So right now you can see there is a little asterisk symbol here in front of my file which means my file is not saved. So you need to first of all save your file and then you will see this asterisk is gone. That means our file is saved. So let's run our code. So if you want to run this Python file using your idle IDE, you just need to click on the run button here and then choose the third option which says run module. So I'm going to click on run module and after some time, you will be able to see this output printed on the idle IDE. So it says enter the first number which we have written in our code. You can see this line is executed first of all. So we will enter some number. I'm going to just write 50 here and then press enter. And then it asks us to provide the second number. So let's say this number is 90 and now we need to give the third number. So I'm going to just give 101 here and then press enter. And it says the max value is 101, which is correct. 
but in real world you will not have this idle IDE installed everywhere. So how can I run my hello.py file? So I'm going to minimize this idle IDE for now and I'm going to go to the location where I have saved this hello.py file. Okay, so just go to the location where you have saved your hello.py file and now you just need to double click on this hello.py file. So I'm going to just double click on this hello.py file and you can see as soon as I double click on hello.py, it opens this program in our terminal. Okay, so once again, I'm going to close this terminal and I'm going to double click on my hello.py file and it opens our program in our terminal. So once again, I'm going to give three uh, inputs here. Let's say 110, enter, 55, enter, 200 and enter. As soon as you press enter, this window disappears. So why this window disappears? Because after the execution of your program, this terminal immediately closes. So we need to provide something in our program in order to avoid the closing of this terminal. And how we can do this? We can do this using our input method, which is our inbuilt method, right? And here we can just type press any key to exit. So what will happen here is after printing the result, your terminal will wait for the user input and once the input is given by the user, then only the terminal will exit. So let's test our program once again, but before this, don't forget to save this program. So I'm going to just save my program and then I'm going to open the folder where I have saved this hello.py file. And once again, I'm going to double click on this hello.py and I'm going to give uh, three numbers here and then I'm going to press enter and it prints 99, which is the maximum out of three numbers. And at last, it asks us to press any key. So I'm going to press any key, for example, Z, and then press enter, and this terminal disappears. So now the question is, how does this Python file is executed without compiling this file? So the answer of this question, I have already given in the introduction video. And the answer is Python is a interpreted language and not the compiled language. So what happens in normal languages like Java, C++, C, you have a source code and this source code you need to compile in order to convert this source code into an executable file. For example, you have a hello.java file, you need to compile this java file in order to convert it into a hello.class file which is a executable file and when you run this hello.class file hello world or whatever program you have written will be executed now in the case of python because it's a interpreted file you just need to create this hello.py file and you just need to run it you don't need to compile this file and that is the difference between interpreted languages like Python and the compiled language like Java, C++ or C. Now there is one more way using which you can run your Python file and that is by using your command prompt. So I'm going to open my command prompt. I'm going to right click on this Windows icon and then I'm going to open this command prompt from here. So make sure that this command prompt is able to understand this Python command. So first of all, type Python on your command prompt and then press enter. And if it shows you this output like Python and the version of Python, then Python is working on your command prompt. So this command prompt is Windows command prompt and not the Python shell which we have installed. So this is our Windows command prompt, right? Now let me make this terminal a little bit bigger so we will be able to see what I'm typing. So I'm going to change the font size to let's say 24 here. So now we will be able to see what's happening. You can just write quit 
and then uh, these two parentheses and then press enter and you will come out of this command prompt. So you need to come out of your command prompt in order to execute your Python file. Now in here, what you need to do is you need to copy the path of your Python file. So I'm going to right click here and then go to the properties. And then in the securities, I'm going to just copy full path of this Python file up to dot Python. Okay, so I have copied full path of this Python file. And now what I need to do is I need to just write Python here. Okay, so just write Python and then paste the path which you have copied. So I'm going to just paste the path which I have copied and then press enter and you can see our program is executed. So I'm going to just give quickly three numbers and it gives us the maximum of these three numbers. Now I will just type any letter here and then press enter and I will come out of this terminal. There is one more way of executing your file and this is you need to just give this command which is cd and then your directory path so up to your directory you just need to copy this path from here okay so you just need to copy this path and then after cd you just need to give space and then paste this path without your hello.py file okay so i haven't given the hello.py file name here and now press enter which will change your directory to your python directory so now we are inside our python directory from here you can directly give python and the name of your file which is hello.py and then press enter and once again the program opens so we can uh, just give three inputs here and the result is shown once again i'm going to just type any key or any letter here with for example r and then press enter and now i'm out of this program so this is how you can run your python script on any terminal you don't need any ide or any other special software in order to run your python script you can run it on your terminal or directly click on the python file so i hope you have learned something new this time i will see you in the next video so bye for now